Well, since the Israel-Hamas war erupted on October 7, 2023, the humanitarian crisis in Gaza has escalated. With the ongoing siege and restrictions on supplies, the situation has become increasingly dire for the Gazan population, especially after the declaration of a complete siege by Israel's defense minister. Essential supplies like food, water and electricity, all these things have become a luxury for many. This blockade has led to a catastrophic shortage, pushing Gazans into life-threatening situations. Food prices are skyrocketing in Gaza. Most residents are now reliant on a thin stream of humanitarian aid that is trickling into the region. In the markets, a limited selection of commercial goods are available, but at prices that most cannot even afford. Many essential goods are entirely missing from the shelves worsening the situation for millions of people who are on the brink of starvation and famine. Due to the closure of the crossings, there is not even flour. The simplest things in our children's livelihood is flour to prepare bread and feed our children. It is not available and non-existent and very, very little. We have no flour, even the basic materials, oil, sugar, tea, the basic materials that we depend on. I swear it is not available from the market and if you find it in the market, it is at unbelievable prices. Very expensive and this is due to the scarcity of goods in the markets. The water crisis in Gaza is deepening due to limited natural water resources, contamination as well. Israeli airstrikes have destroyed important water infrastructure and wells. Gazans are now relying on the infrequent trucks deliveries that occur only every four days. Contaminated water sources increase the risk of waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid. Healthcare facilities are struggling to operate without water supplies as well, further heightening the risk of infectious disease outbreaks. Reports indicate that 100% of wastewater treatment plants and 70% of sewage pumps have been damaged or destroyed amid the incessant Israeli airstrikes on Gaza. We have to collect water like this every day. We have 30 people and I have to collect water from here or there every day. I'm really exhausted. Sometimes there are too many people and I can only collect a little bit of water before the truck drives away. Despite being patient, how long can we bear the situation? Till we all die of thirst or should we feed our children with sea water? We are now drinking salt water. Even though we survived warfare and bombing, we will die from water scarcity. The availability of goods in Gaza could fall further and fall apart following the Israeli parliament's decision to restrict operations of the UN agency helping Palestinian refugees. The humanitarian crisis is deepening as aid organizations warn that without sufficient food and clean water, the risk of famine looms large in the coming few weeks. There is no safety anywhere, whether we stayed here or went home. Even if I am sleeping at home, the risk of death is still there. The risk is not only at the beach. Israeli boats keep on firing. Two days ago, they opened fire and it is almost on a daily basis. What can we do? We go back to our homes to die. We are dead anyway. So we might as well die on the beach. What can we do? Better for one to die while chasing his livelihood.